Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm with Website Islands and this is a short video tutorial on how to add your site to Google Webmaster Tools and create a sitemap with, well add a sitemap to Google Webmaster Tools. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is uh, just go to Google and log in. If you, if you don't already have an account, it'll ask you to sign up here um, and create an account. After you've created an account, you should be able to um, log in and go to your account settings. Um, here under my products you'll see all your Google products that you've signed up for. If you haven't already signed up for Google Webmaster Tools you probably won't see this here so you'll need to um, just search Google for Webmaster Tools and sign up through there and um, after you do that you can go uh, just repeat the process here go to your account settings and come back here and you should see it. Now once you see this Webmaster Tools link click on that and you'll see I have some added some sites already to uh, my account and um, uh, I haven't verified these two but basically the process is very simple you'll just type in your uh, website like websiteislands.com and you'll uh, it, it'll ask you to verify it on this page here so once you get to this page it's just uh, four simple steps so the first one is to uh, download the file which is very easy just save that to your desktop or wherever you can remember to find it and then you're going to want to upload it to your website. You can do that through FTP if you know how to do that using a, a, a file manager like FileZilla. The easiest way, uh, if, if, if you don't, the easiest way for most people is just going to simply be to uh, type in uh, yourwebsite.com and forward slash cPanel. So um, let's uh, go to, I'm just going to type it here. It'll be like, uh, www it'll, it'll look like this at uh, your site site.com forward slash cpanel and then uh, it'll it'll ask you to log in now I've already logged in so um, using if you don't know your your cpanel username and password it's probably the same one that I've ar already given you but if not just uh, contact me for that um, you'll click on your file manager here and it's going to ask you directory you always want to go to the root, the public. Um, it's usually that by default, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so click OK and go there. Once you're uh, there, you'll see a lot of the, the files from your site. Uh, don't click on these or really mess with them. You don't want to break your site. But you'll see that I've already added the, the file that Google gave me to download. I've already added it here. The way you do that is you just click on uh, Upload, and um, it'll give you a little box like this and Browse. So you can browse back to your desktop and upload the file from here. So uh, after you've done that, you should see the Google file here um, in your your uh, your your directory, your and your file listings here. Um, so uh, step two would be to confirm uh, that, that that file is there by clicking on that link. Um, and uh, I, I haven't. I haven't actually added it to uh, this domain, so it's not showing up there, but you should get a successful result uh, there. Uh, once you've done that, click verify. And, you know, I haven't done it yet, so I'm probably going to get a negative message here. Verification failed. Uh, if you did everything correctly, you should get a positive uh, message. So, um, uh, for example, I, I've already added it to this site. So, um, uh, in this case, uh, once, you, once you've uh, gotten that successful verification, you'll actually be able to uh, click on these uh, on your website and get into your, your dashboard for your website. And you'll see all kinds of things. In this tutorial, I'm only talking about how to add a sitemap, which would be the next thing you're going to want to do. So underneath site configuration sitemaps, um, you'll have the ability to submit a sitemap. So uh, normally your sitemap will just be sitemap.xml. Uh, Google prefers the XML variety. And then you submit that. And you see that I've already added a sitemap. And again, if we go to the file manager, you can see that I've already added a sitemap here. Now this tutorial isn't about creating a sitemap. <clears throat> if I've already created one for you, it's already going to be here. So if you have a RS SEO installed on your uh, Joomla site that I built for you, more than likely uh, when I set that up, I created a sitemap for you. 
and added it here already, an XML sitemap. And you probably have an HTML sitemap as well, which would be ac accessible from the front end of your, web your website uh, in the public view. But this one is specifically uh, for the back end and it's just for Google. It's sitemap.xml and um, it's probably already there. So uh, all you'll need to do is actually just verify that in your account. So um, you'll just, uh, just submit it and just type in, uh, your domain's already here, so just type in sitemap.xml here. And that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial. Uh, just one little bonus uh, thing that I wanna add to this is that um, if you notice when I, from, from, from the, the, here that I, I had two versions of each website, and this is just another trick that you're gonna wanna do for SEO. Um, uh, register both, but under both of them, open them up, and um, underneath site configuration, underneath settings, you need to pick one or the other. You want to have a preferred domain, uh, either the www version or the non www version. Um, so I'll usually always pick the non www version because uh, it's just shorter and it's simpler, and you don't need the www. Uh, so whenever you um, you want to be consistent with this whenever you create backlinks to your site or anything like that for SEO purposes you, you want to use the the, the non WW version so um, that's just so all the link juice will will flow to either one or the other you don't need both of these versions to be competing against each other for ranking in Google uh, so you'll just want to um, you'll just you'll just want one of these to show up in Google uh, you're not going to get double double uh, listings you're, if you have if you're using both versions what's going to happen is one or the other is going they're going to be competing with each other instead of the link juice being split between the two of these uh, you've got all your your link juice flowing to one so you'll not only uh, set it up here you'll uh, you'll when, whenever you create links you'll you'll use this version and then also um, in uh, in your uh, your um, if you have RSSEO tools, uh, you'll you'll be able to set it there as well, uh, so that your your user link will just show up. So, for example, if we uh, if we were to go to uh, to Google and type in uh, let's let me just open up Google here. Well, let me do a Google search for uh, re. Uh, if I type in www remodel fake. If I type in that website with the www in Google and search for it, so it show me results for remodelingfacts.com. You'll notice that what do you get? They're all the one that I set without the www. Okay, so all, all of the uh, the ones that are coming up, and then when you click on these links, okay, there's a quick uh, update where I wanted to show you uh, this when. If you're uh, if you have RSSEO on a website that I built for you um, installed, you can you can just go to uh, go to your extensions. Let me close this. Okay, so you just go to your extensions plugin manager, and then just search for RSSEO, and you'll get uh, the system RSSEO uh, plugin. And underneath the options, um, I. Uh, I have uh, put in the domain name. So here you would either choose one or the other, www.remodelingfacts.com or remodelingfacts.com like that. So I chose the non-WW version.